aspects of the sublime in English poetry and painting, 1770-1850. The avocado is a pear-shaped fruit with leathery skin, smooth edible flesh, and a large stone. Can you hear the difference between the human and the computer? In fact, both of these are computer-generated. The high quality of the second voice is due to WaveNet, a technique developed by the DeepMind group at Google. WaveNet is a breakthrough in the world of audio computing because it uses new methods to analyze and generate audio. To fully understand the power of WaveNet, we will first learn how DeepMind made both of these voices. The robotic sounding voice uses a traditional method called concatenative text-to-speech. This method uses a library of short audio files for every single sound in English. It produces speech by combining these audio files for every small part of speech so that it sounds about right. For example, to say hello, it would put together the sounds for he, l, and lo. This is great for reading text from a screen, but several features of human speech, such as pacing, emphasis, and volume, are all missing. On the other hand, the human-like voice captures all of these features by using a mathematical technique known as a neural network. A neural network is a calculation method inspired by the human brain that is able to extract patterns from data. Essentially, a neural network searches through data for statistical patterns. For instance, a neural network might be tasked with identifying if a picture has a red ball in it. In order to train the network, Researchers show the network lots of sample pictures with and without a ball, telling the network which is which. Based on this training, the neural network finds statistical similarities in the data. In this example, the data may show that pictures with red circles are likely to be pictures with a ball. That's great for finding things in pictures, but how does WaveNet find similar statistical features in audio? The implementation of WaveNet considers some of the core features of sound. One such feature is auditory context. The Y in yellow has a different sound than the Y in happy. WaveNet is constructed specifically to preserve the context of words. Because of these considerations, WaveNet has the ability to accurately find statistical trends in audio. Because WaveNet handles sound statistically, it can be used for many more purposes than just text-to-speech. For instance, the authors of WaveNet trained it on some piano concertos. WaveNet analyzed the music statistically and reproduced an entirely new piano concerto based on the patterns of what it listened to. Have a listen. Clearly, WaveNet is a powerful tool. However, every new innovation comes with some glitches. Groups that have tried to recreate the system in the WaveNet paper have had a few issues. Some details of the original work were left out of the paper, so no one outside of DeepMind has been able to recreate the text-to-speech feature. A key component of the text-to-speech feature is the library of audio clips used to train the neural network. Since DeepMind did not release their training set, no one outside of Google has been able to reproduce text-to-speech yet. Otherwise, this podcast would have been read by WaveNet. Though the technology is not yet fully developed, the future is bright for neural networks. Sound is just one of the many fields that this diverse computing technique can be applied to. Many researchers are currently working on applications in fields ranging from computer graphics to quantum mechanics. But for now, computer-generated symphonies are still cool. <laughs>